Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make multiple copies of things in SketchUp by multiply and divide that you can actually use in making different types of uh, components or objects such as stairs or uh, maybe railing, etc. So first, let's try making some copies by multiply and we don't need Chris for that. So by Chris. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make uh, some sort of a slab thing or just a floor if you call it and let's just extrude this a bit and I'm going to actually make a group of this so the geometry doesn't get messy we also made one of those earlier videos about how to make multiple copies in SketchUp by using multiplying that you can also watch but in this video what I'm concerned about is, is, to, is to actually work that out into making objects of different kinds so first what I'm going to do I'm going to hit the rectangle tool and make a little rectangle right here I'm going to extrude it out just like this select like this and make a group of out of it like this now first by multiply what I need to do is I'm going to go to the move tool by pressing M from keyboard so first I need to click on the reference point so if I just click it from here and now if I just press control from keyboard I can actually copy this so let me just put it to a measurement point 5 meters and press enter now to make the multiple copy of this what I need to do is type in the asterisk key or what is actually also called the star key and now I have to fill in the number of the copies I want to make like if I say 8 and press enter makes me 8 copies like this what I can also do is I can actually go to this uh, copying command by move key and pressing the control key and fill in the measurement or the distance like if I click here and I can actually first type in the number of copies I want to make I want, like uh, I want to make four copies of this and now I can actually type in the asterisk key and press enter that will make me another four copies now this is uh, one way to make copies by multiply another one is divide so divide is more efficient if you don't know the length and you want the copies or number of copies in between that length to do that if I just select this and uh, move this by having the control key on and the move tool and just uh, actually place it anywhere uh, along this axis I want to do so if I just place this here now what I can do is I can just type in the number of uh, number of what these copies I want to make or want to have between this length if that's like unknown to me or whatever so I can just type in like uh, 10 and now I can actually type in the slash slash from keyboard and press enter so this go gives me that many copies between that length so let's just do it again this time I press a slash key before I type in the number of copies I want to make so let me just place this here by the, having the copying command on and uh, first I type in slash and the number of copies I want to make I want to make two this time and press enter and here we got one another copy so if you notice one thing it always makes one less copy than the after the one you actually already made like this I already made and I type in two but this gives me one another now I'm going to show you how to make a stack case using copying so I have a rectangle here that I want to extrude at first and uh, actually make an edge right here that will actually give us the wall sort of thing and the staircase will be along this wall so let me just select all of these faces and turn them into a group 
Now what I wanted to do, I want to make a rectangle and turn it into a step. And I'm going to make a copy of it like this. So first let's try using the multiply copying. So let me just create these edges. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and move this with the control key on to this edge like this. And now I'm going to type in the number of steps I want to have like eight then the star key or the asterisk key and enter so I have these many steps this is one way I can make stairs another way for making this staircase is rather if I'm certain I want to have uh, the end of it right here along this edge I can take the reference off so if I just click on or rather select this box or a step and press on the control key and take this to the end point of this edge now I can actually type in the number of steps I want to have between them so if I just type in 5 then hit the slash key and enter I will end up having these 5 of the copies between them 5 steps rather so you can turn this uh, rather into a component so you can actually adjust those uh, values or the dimension values to actually end up with perfect steps this way you can also make railing like if I just create this rectangle right here and extrude this this time I will turn it into a component like this now I'm going to copy this I'm going to make multiple copies of this like I want 15 copies of this then I hit the star key and press enter I end up having this 15 copies or I might just dispose like this is the end point of the railing and I want the other end right here and now I can actually type in some uh, number of uh, segments I want to have like this if I type in like 16 and hit the slash key and press enter I will end up having those 16 of segments between them later on you can just make this sort of a rectangle at, at the top to finish the railing just make it into a group extrude it out to the forest and extrude it to the little at the back also yeah this is how you can actually do it thanks for watching the video for more videos you can also subscribe to our channel you can type in any of those questions if you want to ask in the comment section below